back. Now, in beauty, we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge, as always, with the fabulous Trudy Brewer. And this morning, we are puckering up to talk lipsticks. Morning, Trudy. Hi, Mel. How are you? I'm really, really well. I find I really struggle with lipsticks. I never know what is quite right for me. So how do you find the perfect everyday shade? The perfect, uh, lipstick's my Desert Island product. It was um, interesting, the stir that it caused this morning. Um, the perfect shade of nude is one that you everyone will wear, and you can build on that. I always tell women to choose a colour that's two shades darker than the inside tone of their lip. So, so you're, not your lip, the inside tone. So you're actually in the shop going... <laughs> well, no, but the other thing is you know, you can just look yourself. And when you try it, don't try it on your hand, oh, because whoops. your hand is a different colour to your lips, because it's had sun damage and it's drier. Put it on the pads of your fingers. That is and an excellent the closest, tip. That's the closest tone to the right colour that your lips will be. Okay, so that's for the perfect everyday shade. That is everyday really, really shade, good yeah. advice. Um, so what about the options on offer? Because there's a lot of things now when it comes to actual finishes, isn't there? there and there's new ones every day. I mean, I guess the most classic are a gloss or a liquidy gloss, um, a sheer, then there's a cream or a gel, and then there's a matte, and now there's even a liquid matte. So it's endless, the finishes. And I guess they have all different uses. We should get into that a little bit later they on. They do maybe. have all different yeah. uses, and I think that that is the difference between nailing the right lipstick for you, one that doesn't bleed or feather, one that looks good, that stays on. It's all about the finish you choose, not so much about the colour. We were all, I mean, colour's very important, yeah. but the finish, really, you should marry up with what works for you in your lifestyle and your age group. Yes, because sometimes you'll, you'll see something in a magazine or on the runway, and you go, that's beautiful, yeah. but that's on a 12-year-old on a model exactly. <laughs> or an 18-year-old model. And, that, and you know, you, you can never get that look again because your lip's different. Also, the amount of oil that your body produces cha often changes the colour of a lipstick. So you need oh. to be aware of that too. So trying it on the pad of your finger is really great because that's how the colour will be closest to the, to the look on your lip. You just mentioned fine lines and sort of the, the lipstick bleeding up yeah. into there. What do you do to stop that? Well, I tend to use, and I mean, that's my biggest problem. I use a lip liner that's the same tone as my lip colour rather than the lipstick and I put it all over my lips like a lipstick. Really? And it acts as a waxy base for the lipstick or the gloss to stick to. The other thing is when your lipstick fades off you don't get that really awful ring of liner and nothing in the middle which yeah. is not very flattering. No. Um, so I put on a liner all over the lip area like right over. It's like a, quite a natural colour. Just a natural nude um, and then you add the lipstick over the top. So what's on trend for this season? You know, it's really bold this season, and anything goes, but there's a real move towards those lovely magenta wine, Bordeaux, um, lovely um, berry shades, which are not that easy to wear, to be honest. Um, but what I tend to do is use a berry liner, you know, like a, a nice Bordeaux coloured liner, yep. and just put it on quite lightly, blend it with my finger, and then maybe add a little bit of gloss. Okay, because this is the thing I always find very difficult. I don't feel like I suit really dark lipsticks. Let's have a look at the things that you've okay. brought in today. Right. First up, this <clears throat> one here. Well, the first one's pretty clever. It's a new one from Burt's Bees, and it's a good natural option, because the other thing is a lot of women are looking for a natural option, because don't forget you eat the lipstick that you wear. Yes, that's true. So um, that one is a gloss and a crown. So you Ooh. can put it on like a liner. You don't need a liner with that because it's pointed like that and you can just wind it up when it starts That's to nice. Down. I would definitely wear this one. What's this one? The other one is a cute one from Lancome. They launch Juicy Shaker. You need to shake that Hang to on. ignite the colour. Give it a shake. Excellent. Make sure uh, the lid's on properly yeah. when you do that. And that is the next generation of Juicy Shaker and it's matte. So it goes on like oh. a liquid and it really stains your... You're going to have ten lovely little coloured fingers That's by the end That's fine though. So this one. And that one just goes on like a liquid but it stains the lips. It's really lovely if you just like a beautiful sheer colour Okay, pale. so that's quite sheer. What's this one here? Um, Revlon HD Gel Lipstick. Now that is charged with hyaluronic acid which plumps up your lips. Okay, good. Wear. Good. A creamy gel. Good, I need that one most um, definitely. Another great cream is Shiseido Rouge Rouge. Um, that is a beautiful cream lipstick. Ooh. And it's got the most fantastic colour payoff, and it lasts. That's a beautiful colour. It's a, lot, a little bit drier than the last cream, so <laughs> that one. I'm going to go and touch something now and get all these lipsticks um, over it. Now, this has caused a sensation in our office. It's Max Factor's new matte velvet lipstick. Yeah. It's launched in the UK. Going back to finger one. It launches here in two weeks. They cannot keep it on the shelves. So what's so special about it? It's a matte that you don't have to prime or prep your lips with. So it's it's completely matte. It goes on slightly creamy, stays matte, but it feels like a cream lipstick. It okay. is 
beyond And amazing. it's not going to go into the wrinkles? No, it stays put. I'm wearing it today. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and it's just stayed. Very quickly, this one here, and which I do quickly, not feel like um, I'd ever Estee wear. Estee Lauder have launched some beautiful pure finger. love, um, sorry, pure colour love lipsticks, and there's a whole lot of different shades. I bought that in for you because you said you couldn't wear wine, yeah. but it's a lovely sheer wine. So you just put on a slightly light layer and block that, and away you go. Trudy, that has been truly fascinating. Yeah. I'm really excited about trying out some of these and cleaning yeah. my hands properly too as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Mel. Now, for more of Trudy's tips, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.